Gone are the days where the pole was only used for pole dancing. I'm at the Soberton Pole Studio to meet Kayla Moore, a student at Kingston University who's using the pole in pole fitness to better her mental health. Let's go meet Kayla. The female anthem, Girl, by Marin Morris is appropriately the first song to play in the studio. I got into pole two years ago when I wasn't necessarily in the best place within myself and I was just looking online, it was something I wanted to do. I heard a friend say that it, it gave her a lot of confidence and made her a lot happier as a person. So I thought, I'm in a bad place now. It's probably something I should probably start. It gained a bit of weight and I was just, I lost a lot of confidence. I was spending a lot of time in my bedroom. I didn't want to go outside because I didn't like myself or how I looked or how I felt within myself. It was something that I've wanted to do for a while. A friend said that it helped her out with her confidence. So I don't know, I did a bit of research online, found that there was a beginner's course starting literally the next week and signed myself up for it and haven't looked back. I would describe pole fitness as a form of exercise that's quite good for the upper body. Just, I suppose, based around a pole, but not necessarily to match the stigma that goes with it. I feel like people assume that pole fitness is based around stripping or dancing in a sexual nature around the pole, whereas what we do in our lessons is more exercise and fitness and strength based and quite a lot based on personally I feel like building your confidence up and making you a stronger person. I'm starting to notice a trend with the music. Take a listen. It's the song Scrub by the girl group TLC which is also about female empowerment. You don't really you don't judge anyone else you just you concentrate on what you're doing you don't you encourage other people, you, I don't know, give them positive feedback, but you don't necessarily, I don't know, personally, I don't look at their bodies and think, oh, I wouldn't take my top off if I looked like you. I'd say it's impacted my mental health quite well. It's brought me back up to a happy person. I feel like exercise gives you endorphins. It helps you feel good, and you need it. You need it to be a functioning, happy human. Yeah, there definitely is a link between exercise and mental health. It's more to do with the hormones in the brain. That's what exercise tends to influence the most. There's a lot of students that come in with anxiety, so they tend to leave a bit more upbeat, a bit more happy. As a form of exercise, I'd say yes. It probably has benefited uni work, because I kind of get, I don't know, you know when you have excess of energy, you go do your exercise, you come back and then you can, you can focus, you're not distracted. Eventually, I thought I would take a twirl on the pole but not before I got a lesson from Kayla. I love leaving it up to the professionals. I think if someone wants to better their mental health or their strength, they should go for it. Honestly, you'll never look back.